Hi everybody, this is Julian from RC. In this video, we're going to continue exploring RC Cloud. So you may have already watched the first video on uh, setting up and model deployment. If you haven't, I would recommend watching this one first to make sure you have the right setup. In this video, we're going to cover model merging, okay, which is a really important feature of RC Cloud. It's based on the MergeKit open source library and uh, merging is a really, really fast uh, and cost efficient way to inject new knowledge into uh, your model. So let's get started with merging. Uh, as before, we will use the UI first and then we'll use the Python SDK. Starting from the, the RC web app, we go to the merging tab, okay, and create and click on create merging. We need to give this a name, right? And then simply paste the merge configuration. And that's a YAML file. More on this in a minute. We'll take a quick look at MergeKit, okay? We're also working on a, I would say, a more automated way to do this. It's called guided merge. And as the UI says, it's coming soon. So I guess another video in the future, okay? So let's just do this demo merge, okay? So let me launch it right in the interest of time. So while this is running, let's look at the actual config we have here. So we see we are merging two models. So Mistral 7B, the instruction fine-tuned variant, and Bio Mistral which is, uh, as you would imagine, uh, a version of Mistral fine-tuned for um, biomedical content on a biomedical data set. So why are we trying to do this here? What's the, what's the rationale? So you could say, well, the instruct model has been fine-tuned, right? It knows how to follow instructions. So it's not just uh, you know, a base model, a base language model. It already knows how to answer questions and and, and, and you know, spit out the answers in the proper format that users would expect. Okay, so that's valuable. Maybe that's something we don't want to run again. Um, you know, it's already there. Why would you run this instruction alignment again if you can grab it from this model? And on the knowledge uh, side of things, maybe you're interested in, in the biomedical domain, right? So you already have a base model uh, trained on that. So again, why would you go through the, you know, the pain of doing all of this yourself? So here, what we're really trying to do is, hey, I would like to have a Mistral model um, who knows more about the biomedical domain and who basically has already been aligned on instruction following, right? So those two models have been built. Those two behaviors have been baked into those models. So why don't we bring them together and uh, create a net new model with uh, nice abilities from the two models, right? And as you can see, we're doing, you know, half uh, of Instruct plus half of Biomistral. That's really what we're doing here, right? So equal parts, and we're hoping to get something that uh, understands the biomedical domain and knows how to follow um, prompt instructions, pretty much, right? So this is all coming from uh, MergeKit, uh, an open source project. And uh, the creator of RC, uh, Charles, is uh, working for RC. So that's pretty cool. And if you've never looked at MergeKit before, uh, well, why not take a look here? You'll find good information on the different algorithms, the different merge methods that are supported. And Charles is constantly adding new stuff and you'll find some uh, merge examples, et cetera, et cetera. And I also have a kind of a deep dive video on, uh, on model merging. I'll put the link in the video description and I probably need to refresh it because Charles has quite a few new techniques here. So I should talk about those as well, right? So one more for the to-do list. So that's, that's merge kit, okay? Uh, and we just need to wait for a couple of minutes for merging to, to take place. And let's pause the video and then we'll, I guess, deploy the model and give it a spin. All right, so after a few minutes, merging is complete. And 
well, I suspect most of the time here is really spent uh, downloading those uh, those two models from from the Hugging Face Hub. Merging is generally a, a very you know fast and uh, compute efficient operation. So now we can go and deploy this. Okay, let's. Um, so now we can go and deploy this, and we've seen this before in the previous video, right? So just click on deploy, create deployment. Um, let's call this Julian's merge. And now we see a new model in the list, right? And this is the one we just merged. Okay, so create a deployment wait for a few minutes and then we can test it, okay? And once we've done that, we'll do the same with the Python SDK. Okay, so our model is deployed. Let's try it. With this prompt, yeah, let me get out of the way for a second, you can't see this. All right, so as a biomedical expert, you provide the most accurate and detailed answer possible, explain the role of enzymes in the digestive system and give two examples of molecular reactions catalyzed by enzymes. Okay, here we go. So we should get something uh, good, hopefully, because again, uh, in this merge model, we should have the biomedical domain and we should have the ability to um, to follow instructions. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> I'll trust the model on that. If we have a doctor in the house, please confirm. <laughs> okay, all right, so that's, that's pretty nice. I, I guess that's what we were looking for. You know, that kind of deep domain knowledge and the ability to follow instructions, okay? So now that we're done, why don't we stop this deployment? And now let me show you how to do the same thing with the Python SDK. All right, so now we're in Notebook. Again, all links will be in the video description. As in the previous example, we need to set our key. And I guess I'll be repeating, this is a secret, please do not share it then we need to make sure we have the rc um, sdk installed all right so i guess i have that already and now we're gonna run the merge okay so well it's exactly the same we need to have this merge configuration in a yaml file right so let's just save this as a file now we see it here okay Perfect. Um, let's define the name of the merge, the name of uh, the YAML file. Okay, and we'll just launch this thing with merge kit YAML. Okay. All right, so off it goes. And we have a merging status API to check that things are going smoothly. And we can wait on that, okay? So I'll pause the video and then uh, we'll deploy the model real quick and we'll run a test, okay? All right, so now the merge is complete as we see here. And I deployed the merge model which took five minutes. Okay, so now we have our model endpoint ready and we can go and query it. Okay. And hopefully we'll see a little same good answer we got with the UI demo. Yeah, okay, so uh, not an expert here, but apparently we get uh, a rather deep uh, domain specific answer and we get you know, proper uh, instruction following here as well, right? So, well, it looks like an interesting merge. Of course, we would need to test further, but as you can see, this is really a simple thing. And um, of course, 
we should stop this and release resources. Okay, and we're done, right? So there you go. So this is how you would run model merging on RC using either the UI or the uh, SDK. And uh, the good news is this is a free operation, right? Uh, you can run unlimited uh, merges with your uh, free tier account. So good thing you watched that video until the end, because that's probably a very important piece of information. Okay. All right. So that concludes uh, video number two on RC Cloud. Uh, I guess the next one will be model pre-training. So keep watching and keep rocking.